Brigands and goblins lay siege to the great smeals of Tathbroth. Provisions are running low, and time is running short. Welcome back everyone to Scavenging with Pineleaf, a series of tales, travels, and trifles. And today we are working on the Year 4 Trifles, which is a good old skirmish. And the skirmish that I'll be doing is Trouble in Tuckborough. And I chose that, of course, is because it is the first skirmish that you unlock. It is one of only two skirmishes that are unlocked automatically, meaning that there, is, there are no other requirements for it. Because the rest of the area door ones, you of course will have to purchase. Oh, okay. You do have rescue, which is an epic one. And you also have your epic ones, which you unlock through during the epic storyline. But Trouble and Tuckbro and Siege of Gondaman are the two that have no special unlocking requirements, other than, of course, running through the skirmish tutorial. So that's the first reason I chose this particular one. The second one, of course, is that I'm playing a hobbit, and this is the hobbit-themed skirmish. So naturally, I would be choosing this one. So those are two reasons, then. The hobbit theme, and of course, it being one of the three skirmishes. The third reason, of course, is this is one of the favorites I have. But that's partly because of the Hobbit theme. But this is also the first skirmish for which I wrote a guide way back when Casual Scroll to Mordor was still around. So this was the first skirmish guide that I did, so of course, to commemorate that, since we're also talking about memories here, and there'll very definitely be quite a number of memories involved with the skirmish since it would be one of the first ones that I did. And of course, it's one that allowed me to get into the community writing all those guides and joining Casual Stroll to Mordor. And later, of course, being made part of Lotro Academy. And still later than that, for Lotro's Players News, when that was done. So, quite a number of memories tied in with this little hobbit. And with <laughs> this little skirmish. Now, strangely enough, even though it's the first skirmish that you do unlock, this is the latest one in its setting. Because most of them are at various times when you're doing all requesting, for example, Three of You Mischief, Prancing Pony are around just after the New Year's. Now, of course, the voiceover says that it's because the Grey Company had had left and stuff like that. And I know the Grey Company doesn't assemble, at least in the... At least not here until well after the new year so it maybe slightly changed the date a little bit but you can see it's still well within the winter time since you see all that snow around there this though is the following autumn or late summer because they they are talking about harvest at the opening of the skirmish so therefore we're talking about harvest time and of course, we still have these men all around here, making things even tougher than they were when we were questing in the Shire. Oh, there you are. So this is a homage to the Scouring of the Shire, which obviously hasn't been represented yet in the game, since that'll be coming on long later. 
probably a couple years or something like that, I think, down the line before we get to that part of the epic storyline. But this is, of course, the time where the Great Schmeels gets all locked up. We have the Tooks who have who are keeping the big folk out and the big folk who are keeping the Tooks in so no one really gets in or out as a result of that. At least not until Pippin manages to find a way in. Of course, Pippin finds a way in because, well, he certainly knows the area well enough. So he, if anyone could sneak in, it would be Pippin. But this would be probably about, a, I'd say about a month before Frodo, Sam, and Pippin get back in. A couple of weeks or a month, I would say, is about the right time for that. All right. Chirp of sickle flies. So let's go and take care of some sickle flies. And that would be down in this direction. Now I'm running this skirmish at tier 2, which I think is a reasonably com comfortable level if I'm running it for the sake of the skirmish. At least it, with a capped character, I'm not the best equipped in the world. But I sh don't think I have too much trouble with a tier two. Now tier three, I find that at least for YouTube videos, unless it's specifically to do a tier three, I think can be a little bit tedious. I was tried recording a Tuck Burrow at tier three. I got about, I think. Well, I think it was the first checkpoint, or maybe early in the second one, where I said, "Oh boy, this is this is gonna put the viewers to sleep." So therefore, I decided, eh, grab that idea. Now, of course, what about skirmishes in general? Of course, skirmishes in general are what I am known for. A lot of jokes said about that, and of course, my tagline is "skirmish responsibly." Therefore, I, yes, I'm noted for doing a lot of skirmishes, and I suppose that's reasonably true when you consider that I'm approaching, well, 3,000 on my main. Of course, I've got six wards, so I would have done a lot more than that, plus, plus characters of other classes. So yeah, I've done quite a number of skirmishes. So obviously a lot of memories in doing that, and one of the memories I have has to do with my thousand skirmish on my, on my main, not on this character, and that was a uh, trouble in Tuck Pearl Rage. I think that was my first serious skirmish raid that I did. There you go. All right, managed to get all of them. Ooh, and I got that entrance there. What I do though is I'm gonna clear the upstairs first. Usually I like to do the upstairs first, take care of that, then come down. And part of the reason for that is thematic because the enemy comes in through the gate down there when you, they had the counterattacks for the down area. And they come through there, but of course, unless you've already taken this control point, that gate's not going to be left open. And it makes a lot more sense for the gate to be left open after they come through. So therefore, I prefer doing this work. Now, if you're worried about safety purely from that, then you might consider doing the down one first, since there's no way you're going to accidentally pull in mobs from the courtyard if you do the down area first. But... I, in this case, prefer the thematic approach where I take this one first and then the downstairs one. And yes, I've got the bear, so I have to do that one after I take care of these. 
Now, I was expecting the bear because I didn't get any of the others. Because I had only one encounter so far. And of course, in skirmishes, you get two encounters. Now, I suppose that if they ever have a goblin search, as for one of the, well, either the, the site or the trifles, then we could run Tuckbro to take care of Grand's Foot goblins, which might be on the list. Similar to how we had Thongohad allowing us to grab one of the tribes of orcs. What we're working on now. Let's head down. Let's take care of the bear. And I see the bear coming up right now. Good timing. And let's ambush it. And take care of that. A bear at the Great Willow. Now, considering the Great Willow, there are some memories to that also. I know I should have mentioned that back when I was fighting old Root. But of course, that's where you have the beehive. Or at least on the landscape where you had the two, I forgot whether they were brothers or cousins, but they were trying to get something out of the tree, which I think they somehow threw it up, got it caught in the tree, so they tried knocking it down with a rock, and of course they brought a beehive along and some bears came and chased. That's probably why I remembered it now is because, of course, right there I was fighting a bear. So it reminded me of that. Oh wow, I got here before that timed out. If you go long enough, it stops sparkling. Yes. Especially if you took another control point in between, and then you have to remember, oh yes, I didn't take this one yet, so let's take the control point even though it's not sparkling. But after this, we will have to contend with the courtyard, which is the most notorious part of the skirmish and I've had let's just say bad pools have been known to happen in there now if this were tier one I might do something irresponsible like pulling the entire courtyard but usually I don't want to do something like that while I'm at tier two as you can see it takes a little bit longer in order to kill all of these opponents Oh, Mr. Drunkard! Hello! And the Keg Master, who's gonna start healing pretty soon, I think, so I'll switch over to booting him! Oh, come on! Well, he got killed anyway, so even though I didn't interrupt you, I finished off with the ultimate interrupt. And let's take care of this one now. I think that other one's going to go down pretty fast between flax and that bleed I put on it. <laughs> they die simultaneously. Yes, now that is good timing. All right, another keg master. Uh, all right, you have to be careful here because if you go too much further in, I will get that double problem. Read on him and and now ultimate death for him. All right, good, got them all. So yes, I think I'm pretty efficiently taking care of the courtyard here. He's going after Flax. Well, he might change his mind after that bleeds out a little bit. Oh, Flax is hurt. There you go. And, oh, we've got a Defender of the Vile. And make sure you take care of the Defender first, so that I don't take twice as long killing everything. Yeah, glow yourself! There we go. And 
what else can I think in our memories related to the Shire? Of course, to the Shire. What we really could use for these guys, of course, after all that is happening here, is I'm sure they would really love to have some pies. And, of course, get any mail that has been accumulating over the last couple of months. I'm really sure they would like some pies. I'm sure the pies were all stolen by the by Phil's off and all those people being hilt by sh that are along with Sharky. Now I'm thinking that this is maybe around the time that Sharky has arrived. If this is when Sharky well, actually, he mentioned Sharky during the battle, of course. So I'm assuming that Sharky is already here. And things sort of deteriorate very quickly after Sharky arrives. Death to those who oppose Sharky. The Shire belongs to Sharky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sharky's here now. Having absolutely nothing else to do after being kicked out of his house. There you go. Well, okay, he wasn't technically kicked out. He decided to leave after being imprisoned there, but you got the idea. There you go. Fancy wood chest. Anything useful there? Ah, uh, nope. But that does complete Trouble and Tuck Pro, and that also completes year four in Scavenging with Pine Leaf, a series of tales, travels, and trifles. And next time, we'll start on year five. So until then, this is Pine Leaf Needles reminding you to skirmish responsibly.